on your side tonight covering crime and just released new preliminary data from the Knoxville Police Department's year in summary report shows a decrease in most crimes. Now, KPD Chief Paul Noel reacting tonight to those numbers. Six of your sides, Wes Cooper, has more on how the department is being proactive in the new year. Bo Don, Paul Noel has only been police chief in Knoxville for about six months, but the department is finding success. He says the decrease in most high priority crimes can be attributed to restructuring the department. Overwhelmingly impressed with the men and women in Knoxville Police Department. Year end figures from KPD show a 15% decrease in murders. In 2022, 35 lives were taken compared to 41 the year before. I hope it's a trend that will continue. I think with the mayor and the city council voting on Turn Up Knox, which is an anti-gun violence uh, organization, they're getting into communities and starting to have violence interrupters and starting uh, to get the community involved to try to, you know, help take care of, uh, tackle this problem. But those with Turn Up Knox are not the only ones hitting the streets. The decline in murders follows Chief Noel's restructuring of KPD to get more officers as possible out in the city and reestablishing the Central Police District in South Knoxville. Get them out there, get them on the street, get them visible, but also I think more importantly to take many of the centralized resources that we've had um, across the city and put them under the direction of our three district commanders to give them as much authority as possible. Knoxville also experiencing a 9% decrease in robberies, a 6% drop in breaking and entering crime and a 21% decrease in car thefts to round out 2022. We're getting out there, working with the community, and identifying areas where police officers are needed and putting those officers in those, in those areas to not only prevent crime, prevent crime from occurring, but being able to identify the individuals who are perpetrating those call burglaries and those auto thefts. On the other hand, aggravated assaults increased 8% last year and non-deadly shootings remained the same at 78 incidents. It really shows that, that we have a ways to go in 2023 and beyond to really uh, working every single day to be able to reduce violent crime in our city. It's gonna take a, a, a community, a whole community to as to address these problems, not just a few individuals. So I'm asking for the whole community as a whole to, you know, get involved, roll your sleeves up, get involved at some kind of level which they feel comfortable with, but definitely get involved with the frontline nonprofits. JD Jackson adds it's encouraging to see the decline in most crimes, and KPD Chief Dowell says more crime prevention strategies will be presented later in the year. Back to you.